Number seven then from the 2022 National 5 Paper 1, little two mark question, change the subject of a formula. And this one it just says change the subject of this formula to B. Well, you just use the normal rules of manipulating equations. If there's something you don't want on one side, you carry out the inverse operation, which removes it from that side and pops it over to the other side doing the inverse operation. Opposite of add, subtract, multiply, divide, but do it in the correct order. Don't take that four across, first of all. It's the divides and multiplies that come before the adds and subtracts. So if you have to get that to be, one thing you could do is just write it the other way around. B plus four over C squared equals D. That just gets it, it doesn't get you a mark. It just gets it into the right order, doesn't it? Because I want to get B, so I can see the two things I want to get rid of. The thing you get rid of first is this division. So B plus four would be, just take the C squared across and multiply. I'll just put them down in alphabetical order, won't really matter. Doing that gets a mark. It's an easy B question, this. Now you just got that four to get rid of. Well, the opposite of add four is subtract four. So what you're really doing is subtracting four from both sides. But the net result to subtracting 4 from both sides is that 4 disappears and you see a minus 4 over here. And that's the final mark. So number 8 then, another 2 mark question, just as easy as the previous question. It's 2 marks, 1 mark each just for stating a result. Part of the graph of y equals a sine bx is shown here. If that's the case, what's a and what's b for one mark each, just stating the result? Well, there's two ways of looking at that. You could look at that, you could look at the picture and think of it in an analog manner, just think of it like a waveform, or you could look at the equation here and think of it numerically like a digital manner. You'd probably look at it the sort of the waveform way. Well, better than the waveform rather than the sound wave, like an oscilloscope, having a waveform and oscilloscope, because that'd be better, because on an oscilloscope, not only can you change the amplitude and change the frequency, how fast it goes. Of course, with frequency, frequency actually relates to time, not angle. But you're better off thinking of frequency rather than wavelength, because frequency is an amount which increases the faster it goes, whereas wavelength is an amount that decreases the faster it goes. So just think of it like frequency. But not only that, if you think of it like an oscilloscope, you can also have the vertical shift where you move it up and down, and you can have the horizontal shift, the phase change, where you make the wave go out of step. But none of that. This is the simplest of all cases. A. What's its amplitude? Well, it's going up three. Up three, down three. The amplitude's just three. That gets a mark. Remember, sine should only go up as high as one. So if this is going up to three, it's been multiplied by three. That's more thinking of it the numerical way. B. Well, there should be one of these wavelengths by 360. No, you've got one of them, it's completed one cycle by 45. That would have been 2 by 90, and there's four 90s in 360. So that's 8 of these. So you're getting 8 of these, which means the frequency is 8. That gets a mark. Numerically, you would just say, well, this is an equation. You put in numbers and you do stuff to it. So you put in the number x, you multiply it by something, you then find the sine of that. Now the sine's limited. Sine can only give an answer as high as 1 or as low as negative 1. And then once you've done that, you multiply it by something. So you could say here, well, if sine, no matter what you put in, can only go up to 1, and I've gone up to 3, you could say, well, a times 1 must be 3, in which case a is 3. Next part. Well, sine should complete its cycle by 360 degrees. So if this sine has completed its cycle, it's thought that this here was 360 when x was 45. It thinks that the b times the 45 is really a 360 because it's then completed its cycle. So if it thinks that b times 45 is 360, because sine of 360 would have finished it off, that means b must be 360 divided by 45, so B must be 8, same as before.